Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dean Dill, and I'm here at Dean's Shop with Pete Byro. And no, I'm not going to make it sound so official. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Dean. I know you. <laughs> Hi, Pete Byro. What's doing? And Mr. Herb, my wonderful Herb friend. Herb seasoning. Yes. I'm going to do a version of the three shell game. And uh, this game was actually introduced to me in the army. So, and we didn't have the shells in those days, so we used uh, end caps from weaponry. I think they were uh, rifles, but I'm not quite sure. So, let me just show you what this is all about. We have to take these out carefully because I'm not sure if they're loaded and won't explode on me. No, they're okay. Okay, fine, good. So, what we have are these little end caps, and you can look at them just to make sure they're empty, there's nothing inside. But I did have my little P, and it reminded me of the old three shell game, where you would fix, place the P underneath one of the little caps, like so, and then you'd move them around, and the spectator would try to guess where the P is. And in this case, you would probably suspect that it's here. At least that's what most people do. And then when I show that it's not, it's sort of a surprise to think that you can manipulate the P Wherever you, have, wherever you want to. So this is basically a game you don't want to play because you're going to lose every time. So let's just for fun do this again. Look, I'll place the P in the middle, place the cap over, go like this, go like that. Kathleen, just guess, just for fun, which P, which cap you think the P just might be under. That one right there? Okay, well, so far, no good. Uh, good. <laughs> one more chance. The middle one. The middle one? Okay. And as you can see, it's a difficult <laughs> game. It's still a one out of three shot. So, I'm going to make it even easier. I'm going to take two caps, one P. We'll get rid of one. And I want you to cover the P with either cap. And that is the super cap, which is going to cover that cap. Me? Yeah, so go ahead and... All right. Here we go. This is the hard part. And if you'll do me a favor and put your finger on it, I'm going to move this cap way over here because that P is going to end up jumping from here to here. It's there. And now we're going to send it back. It's back. That's one of those old magician's jokes, but I never use it. It's ridiculous. It'll be stupid. Anyway, so we're going to actually cause it from here to here. So go ahead and take the cap off. Take a peek. Is it there? Show everybody else. That must mean that it is, oh, it's not here. It's not here. I promised it would be somewhere. Oh, then maybe it's over here. <laughs> or maybe it's over here. Or maybe it's over here. Or over here. Or over here, oh, in fact. God. Yes. <laughs> oh. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Now, the, you know, the controversy has always been, you know, where's the other P? Because in order to do that, you'd have to use at least more than one P, but I, I use more than one cap, so that's what that makes it a little more fun. And I always keep one extra one just in case. <laughs> Thank you very much. Isn't that fun? Yeah.